everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to check out how you can create a Spigot 1.15 server. In this case, we're going to be using build tools because that's the only illegal and official way to download um, Spigot. So, the only things you're going to need in order to do this is Java installed on your computer. So, any version of Java over 8 is fine. Um, I recommend using 8 just because most Minecraft servers run 8 and it, there could be errors if you build it on like Java 11 and you run on Java 8. So make sure to build it on whatever version of Java you are building your server on for your dedicated server or something. I guarantee most of them run 8. So just install Java 8 before you're doing this. You'll also need Git for Windows. The link to both of these are down in the description below. Git for Windows allows you to actually build it inside of your Windows on your computer. Um, there also could possibly, I believe there's Git for Mac as well. The link in the description will uh, take you to the correct page for your operating system. So like, all you have to do is click the links in the description. It will take you everywhere you need to go. Download, install, Git for Windows. The other thing you're going to need is Build Tools itself. Build Tools itself, I left a direct download link in the description. All you have to do is click it. It downloads it directly from the description of this video. So you don't even have to worry about going to this page, clicking the jar, or anything else. That will give you this nice little buildtools.jar down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, in order to do this, all we have to do is create a little folder on our desktop. We're going to name it like build tools, or you can name it like uh, build tools 1.15 or whatever you want to do. Just name and create the new folder and drag in your new build tools jar you just got from the internet into this folder. Now, one thing that's going to make our job 100 billion times easier is in this folder, if you click this little down arrow on the top right hand corner, you go to view and make sure file name extensions is clicked with a little check mark. This will make our job a billion times easier later in the video. So just make sure that's installed and it clicked like that. Then if we go back over to our change log here, it's going to tell you exactly what you have to run to run build tools right here. This is all you have to do. So go back to your folder, right click, press get back here. This will open up like this Windows command prompt. It's going to say what folder you're in and it's going to log in if needed it will log in. Uh, most likely it will just say this, you don't have to worry about it. Then all you have to do is copy this one line right here and paste it into your little command here and it's going to start running itself here. Now, one thing that a lot of people in my 1.14 to 4.4 tutorial told me is what if it says buildtools.jar could not be found? Well, here's a simple thing. Just make sure this jar inside this folder is called exactly buildtools.jar, exactly how it is in here and exactly how it is in this command. If it's not, rename the jar. Right click, press rename, and that's all you have to do. Another main um, issue people ran into when running um, Git and installing on 1.14.4 is it would say you don't have enough dedicated RAM dedicated to this process or something. It gives you the command inside of that um command prompt here it will give you the command to run it will just be a few extra different um, options here same thing it will download the exact same thing it just lets the computer know what you're actually doing and makes it a little easier for that so in case that does happen just know you know that's that's what happened there and just follow the instructions that it gives you and of course if you have any issues make sure to reach out to us on discord or in the comments below and I'll be happy to let you know what the any errors uh, mean of course so what this is doing now is it's actually install it's downloading spigot onto your computer if we go into this little folder here we created called build tools 1.15 it's actually downloading bucket craft bucket spigot and all those good things it's downloading the source code and it's going to extract and compile them together to create your spigot jar now while this does this we're going to go set up our minecraft server itself so we're ready to just drag the, the server file in and all that so we're going to create a new folder on our desktop. It's going to be called Minecraft 1.15 server, or you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to just name it Minecraft 1.15 server. Um, if for some reason it moved over here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. And inside this folder, we're going to create a file called our start.bat. Now, um, you can, you can set this up on, you can set the inside of it or whatever you want it to yourself, but here's what you have to do. You can click new. You can go down to text document. This is where this little um, show if file extensions comes in handy. So what I can do is I can name this. You can name this start or s like start server or whatever. As long as the second, the after the dot is called BAT or bat. Press enter, press yes. And that will change it to this little thing here. Now if I start it right now, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to open. It's not going to do anything. Um, it says this app can't. Uh, run because there we haven't added anything for it to do 
So we're going to press edit with notepad or notepad plus plus by default. It will open just without anything. So you want to go with open with or open or edit or um, send. You can just edit it with your uh, notepad or notepad plus plus whatever you have. I recommend notepad plus plus because it's a little easier to do now inside this um, file in the description of this video. You can just copy and paste this if you want. Um, this is for me. I'm going to actually um, copy and paste it from my tutorial video from last time and it's just going to make it a little bit easier for all of you to make the server yourself. So all you have to do is copy and paste it in and you're going to change and by the, the video release it will just say 1.15 down here and you're just going to ignore this actually that's not even supposed to be in there. So you're just going to have it's just going to say 1.15 point for uh, 1.15 point jar. So our entire file will say echo off uh, at echo off CLS start. This is the title of your um, like little window command prompt thing. So here you see it's build tools dot 1.15 for this. It will just be game test one. Uh, you can ignore this. This is how much RAM your server is being dedicated to. So if you want to, this is half a gigabyte. If you want a full gigabyte, just enter a one right in there. Just like that. I was interrupted by a phone call. I apologize. So pretty much we're going to do. Um, I really know what I'm doing, I swear. Ignore this. This just gets rid of any warning messages at the beginning of the spigot jar. You can ignore that. We just gave it an extra 1 gigabyte, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. It's going to run the jar called spigot 1.15 point, uh, 15 point jar. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired tonight. And then it's going to be, you can ignore the rest of this. Now, what this is going to be doing is once the server shuts down, it's going to allow you to, it's not going to close, it's not going to let it close the prompt. It's going to have, um... If you enter Y, it will restart automatically. And I'll explain what this does later. So while this still patches, this can take up to 20 minutes, by the way, in the background. You can see our start bat bat is uh, created now. So if we right click the start bat bat, it's going to say, unable to access jar file spigot 1.15.4 jar, or 1.15. I keep, I keep thinking this is 1.14. Do you want to restart? Press Y and for yes. So this is what I was talking about in that file. If I press Y and I enter Y, it's going to try it over and over again. The reason we have this is when you're restarting a server, this will normally, like if I enter anything else, it's just going to close. Normally, when the server ends, it just closes. So what we did with our start.bat file here is we made it so it will um, re go back up to here if you enter Y and not close. If you enter anything else, it will automatically close. So pretty much this is still patching. This is still doing all its things. It's loading everything in Spigot and it's building the Spigot API. This will take quite a while. It can take up to 20 minutes for you for this to be able to be done. But in the end, it, it depends on your internet processing power and all those good things. So all of those can be affected with your uh, download. But, um, you know, it, it, it it's worth it in the end because you get to play on 1.15. Um, so... In, while we wait for all this, we're going to make sure we have run Minecraft 1.15, which will be the default version in the Minecraft launcher, which is loading up now. So I have Forge as my default, but you can see latest snapshot or latest release is just 1.15. I'm going to load this up in the background while we wait for Spigot to figure, finish compiling and just so we are ready to join our server. Now, a lot of you are going to be asking, making this video, I am local hosting this, where can I get my friends to join the server? In order to get people outside of your house to join your server, you're going to need to port forward. That will not be done in this video. I'm just showing you in this video how to compile Spigot and how to run it and create your server. That will be a video later next week. If you want to learn how to port forward, that will be then. But there are thousands of tutorials on port forwarding available online currently available. Now here we go. It will say success. Everything compiled successfully. Copying final jar files now. We can close this once that we get that message. And you can see right here, spigot 1.15 jar dot jar has been created. And we can copy this over to our Minecraft 1.15 point uh, 1.15 point 1.15 server. And we're gonna rename this and name it what we named inside of our um uh inside of our start.bat to spigot 1.15. Now, if you want to rename this and if you want to keep your jars like server.jar or anything, all you have to do is change it in this file right here. So if we go ahead and start, it's going to say loading libraries. This is how we know we've done this correctly. And then it's going to say you need to accept the Lula, e Lula, whatever you call it, text. And that you can open up in Notepad or Notepad++ and just change it from false to true. Make sure you actually read it and um, understand what it's requiring. And all you have to do is press Y and enter. 
and it's going to load libraries again. And this time it's going to load all your server files, the server.properties file, the plugins file, the logs file, the band players, buckets, bigot.yml, help.yml, server properties, and then it's going to load up the world files, which it's going to create from default because this is our first time running the server. If you want to upgrade a world from 1.14, you can type dash dash force upgrade in the console of your 1.14 server before upgrading the 1.15, then drag the world files over and they'll successfully run. There's no guarantee that it will actually work, but it's recommended you do that first if you are upgrading from 1.14.4 to 1.15. And now that our world has created successfully, we can load in on here. Now in order to load in on here, all you have to do is type localhost and you will join your 1.15 Minecraft server. And you can see it's loading terrain. We can see ourselves with our localhost IP here has logged in and we have successfully joined our 1.15 server inside of Minecraft. And of course, if you want to opt yourself, you just type op your username in the console and it will say it made you server operator or something. And I'm going to switch into creative mode and show you that these do exist. So this is 1.15 and there is your nice little honeybees flying around there and you have successfully created yourself a Minecraft Spigot 1.15 server. Of course, if you have any questions or need any ideas on how to do any of this, make sure to reach out to me on Discord or in the comments. I have an average response time of less than 20 minutes to YouTube comments, an average response time of less than 10 minutes on Discord, just depending on what hour of the day it is. So just make sure you reach out if you have questions, and I'm happy to help you with any issues you have. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll be happy to say that we have daily uploads here on the channel, and um, make sure to stay tuned for all those. I apologize if it was any much noise in the background, like a helicopter or anything. There's a robbery down the street for me, and the cops were looking for someone, and I'm still recording videos. That's how dedicated I am. Um, so make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, um, and if you have any questions, let me know. You have successfully created your server, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>